So Tom, how does economic inequality affect business organizations? The relationship between business and economic inequality is complicated because on the one hand, economic inequality creates significant opportunities for businesses. They thrive on economic inequality. Uh, economic inequality is the basis for all kinds of price segmentation, product segmentation, uh, development of monopolistic competition with different markets, uh, and different firms tailored to different markets. On the other hand, economic inequality creates significant problems for business in terms of dealing with the tensions and the social tensions and the organizational tensions that are associated with some people having a lot more money, power, status, opportunity, mobility, uh, health opportunity than other people. And so businesses are forced to try to not necessarily diminish that inequality, although they might, but try to manage it in some way in terms of their workforce, their customer base, their stakeholders, uh, and the communities that they're, they're, they operate in. Um, you know, traditionally, one of the ways they've tried to manage inequality is by hiding it. And so by making pay differentials secret, by uh, eliminating transparency in terms of pricing differentials and so on. I think increasingly that's not an option for businesses as information flows more freely as price uh, pricing decisions become more transparent, as pay differentials become more public, then they have to manage it in different ways and there's sort of huge challenges associated with that. Okay. And last question, should business organizations try to decrease inequality and how can they do it? Whether businesses should or shouldn't try and reduce income and economic equality is a hard question because there's no debate, I don't think, that large differences in income or wealth or access to wealth at a societal level have significant and even dramatic negative consequences. The question is really whether business is an appropriate actor to be involved or lead a process aimed at reducing that inequality because of, particularly in North America, the built-in motivations associated with business that are likely to corrupt that kind of process. Uh, on the other hand, they're a necessary actor. Uh, inequality is born at a global level out of structures which are transnational. They're not the province of any governmental institution. They're not controllable by transnational uh, institutions like the UN. And the most powerful actors at the global level in terms of inequality, income inequality particularly, really are uh, corporations. And so they have, if, there, if it is going to be addressed, if it is going to be um, diminished in some significant way, it's not going to be addressed without the involvement of corporate actors. Thank you, Tom.